you'll enter your username, password, and the term. If you are registering for a course for this summer, it would be summer 1617. For next fall, it would be fall 1617. Make sure that you select the proper term. If you can't remember your password, click on forgot your password. So on this drop down list, we'll select whichever term we want to register for classes for. And click log in. It will take us into our portal. At the top, you'll see that there are a couple things we need to do in order to register. First is accept the annual credit agreement. So you'll click on that. This needs to be done prior to registering. Scroll down and read the content. At the bottom, you'll click on I agree to these terms and select agree. This is just a confirmation. You'll click OK. Next, you need to edit your profile. Again, this needs to be done prior to registering or it won't allow you to register. We are going to verify the information that is already pre-filled. All of the asterisk information is required. You'll scroll down. Under educational information, you need to actually fill in your highest level of education and the other information as it will be when you start classes. So starting in the fall, you'll have if you're a senior this year, you'll have your high school diploma. Um, you'll have completed 12th grade. So even though you haven't yet, starting next fall, you will. You'll put in your high school graduation or HSED or GED date that you have received that. So if you're graduating this spring, it would be June 1st of 2016. Next, you'll scroll down and complete the state reporting information under additional information. At the bottom, you are going to select confirm slash update. Once you have selected confirm slash update, it's going to take us back to the main page of our portal.